Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day. God is good. Hey, thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I'm your host, the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hey, shout out. 17 subscribers away from 16,000. I like to especially thank each and every one of you that took the time to subscribe, to share, to comment. I truly, truly appreciate your support. Let's get straight to it, man. You know what I hate? I hate bullies. I hate fake tough guy. I hate them with a passion. You know, a lot of times you got people in different situations, circumstance. And like I say, guys, look, with me, I wasn't big. I was not big at all. But guess what? People do not understand. You don't have to take steroids. You don't have to be, like, you know what I'm saying, like lifting a bunch of weight. Because a lot of times people feel they height, they weight, you know, they lifting weight. They think they're a, a tough guy. They think they bullies. And you know what? Right now, was that's a force. To me, where I'm big at, my heart, my mind, and my spirit. What I want you to do is, I want you to listen to this clown. You know what I'm saying? This bully. And I want y'all to take the time, this... You know, steroid taking three toe down. You want to attack me? Like I told you, here it is. I don't got the time. But I, I like you putting up the paperwork and all that good stuff because it don't mean nothing. Because you know why? I'd rather be a fucking snitch or rat or whatever than be a fucking making love to another man. You might well go and get down. Go get a bag with Diddy. Hey, look what I got to say. And listen to these pieces. Now. I saw you run down on somebody. Yeah, behind the ball. Yeah, yeah he in Bronx River. And he went there after with Hassan Campbell. Yeah, with Hassan Campbell with the bottles and all that. Man. This dummy decides to go out there. I don't know he out there. I'm on the phone with him. And he like, all right, so after we finish talking, I, mean, I happen to be in the Bronx. He like, yo, I'm going to go over here. I'm going live with this dude. I'm like, who? I said, where you at? He's saying, Bronx. I said, Bronx, what, what, right now? Live for real? He like, yeah. I said, and this dude been talking about me for two years. Yeah. I looked on the joint. I said, oh, shit, this nigga live. I flew over there. Pulled up, I seen him, I hopped out. Once I run down on him, oh, yo, look, y'all ten toes in the building. Bitch, no. That was just the internet. Fuck that, nigga. Yeah, what you got to say to me now, bitch? See, yeah, see, what's see. up? He like, nah, there's just content. We just creating content. You ain't creating content on me, bitch. <laughs> That's why I said I'm gonna give you a chance. Yeah, I ain't yeah, gonna beat you up. I'm not gonna snuff you enough. I'm gonna give you a chance. I, 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 I went through all that shit, up. man. I, I... Now, once again, y'all heard my man, like, loud and clear. You know, talking all that mad trash. But understand the characteristic of his behavior, his attitude, his demeanor. You want to take advantage of weak people. And right now, with guys, I want to let y'all listen. In his own words, how right now when he was in the penitentiary and what he used to do is he used to take pictures and right now send it to, you know what I'm saying, a bunch of gay men who do that, regardless of what, for you to even come up with some type of scheme like that, that means it's in you, it's in you, that's why, honestly speaking, that's why you and music are so damn close. Because once again, he's probably one little individual that used to send you money, could used to send him picture. Because once again, y'all always getting down. Y'all always messing with the peanut butter. Y'all always acting fuddy duddy, man. But once again, y'all want to get on these platforms and act like y'all real, man. Act like y'all so positive and all. Y'all about uplifting the people, man. Y'all ain't nothing but a bunch of hypocrite, a bunch of con artists, man. So to me, like I told you right now, where it's like, yo, bro, whatever's in the dark, eventually gonna come to light. And to me right now, when y'all was sitting up there, you know, with the boy Matt Hoffa, right now, I wish I was in New York. I guarantee you, if I'd have walked through that damn door doing that interview, you know what I'm saying? Majority of y'all cartoon character with a S-H-I-T all over your damn self. Y'all can talk that talk. But guess what? Y'all can't walk that damn wall. There's probably a few of you that was there in the bomber shop. You could have on your own. But most of y'all clown, don't get it twisted, man. Y'all want to call me a rat, snitch, you cooperate. We got paperwork, man. You got hearsay. That's all you got, hearsay. And to me, regardless of what, I'm going to keep my foot on sissy like you and Bimmy neck. Because that's all y'all are. 
So the bottom line is right now is, hey, look, bro, I am not sensitive. I got tough skin. So once again, like I told you right now, listen to these clowns and listen to him in his own word, how he's a sin. Pitches to men's. Right now, was guess what? You still doing it, man. Y'all could all went to Puff Party. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. I am the real Brian Glaze Kid. One love. It's time to do what's on here. Uh-huh. You was talking about how you made money while you was locked up. Right or wrong? That's right. So, you made money by sending pictures like you said to women and men. Uh -huh. You say you ain't let them come visit you. Uh -huh. So in reality, you were sending pictures to Mooks. All right, now stop right there. Ain't no stopping. I'm asking you a question. All right, because what man would want a picture from another man? And you can you, and, and, and you, you you made you made show. Sure, listen to me. You made sure show you stay. One of them sent you money every month. Every month. That's right. Every month. That what you say? A thousand. You you accepted money from a man every month for pictures. Yes. That's right. That's right. So That's all I want to hear. Hey, so you coming over with the with the glaze? I don't want to hear nothing else. You kept it real. No, 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 no. You yeah, kept it real crazy. as a man and stood up. Someone's in a pen sending sweaty workout pitches to gay dudes to get some money in commissary damn bro what else would you compromise for some damn ramen soups and tuna fish you were selling pit you were selling pictures of your bunkie baby my son was selling pictures of his bunkie you heard my son was up top selling pictures of his bunkie after a good workout someone was doing 37 squats a clip and then coming back to his cell, butt-ass naked, oiling up, and finding a way to take some pictures for his gay pen pals. Now, if you gay out there, ain't nothing wrong with being gay. You feel what I'm saying? If that's what you do, that's what you do. But talk to me. Talk to me. You were selling pictures of the buns. You were selling pictures of that Bunky Rogers, nigga. You were selling pictures of that Bunky Rogers, my dude. You got to do some more explaining. Matter of fact, you ain't got to explain yourself, bro. You like, you like taking and selling pictures of your bunk. It's all good.